Dragon's Quest. Let's continue. I was going to comment on Elon's fashion, or lack of fashion. Basically half naked, but uh, oh no, that's an exaggeration. Uh, those side shots. Anyways, can't wish for Yilan. This is the Black Cliff Forge. Let's look around for clues. Gotta save for Kazuha. So, anything strange been going on recently? Excuse me? What's that? <laughs> I don't think we're going to get anywhere asking questions like that. Let's just take a look around. back it looks like a ledger but it seems they also use it as a site log we don't know who wrote it but it's interesting don't you think you think they're suspicious yes look it says right there one of them's already been promoted to team leader at this rate by the time the Qing Shu pool redevelopment plan is ready to roll they'll be the technical backbone of the team that'll give them the chance to take a lot of liberties they can copy any secret texts or steal any treasure they find underground. Imagine if we didn't suspect anything. By the time Jur E recommends the Blackcliff Forge for the excavation project, at most we would maybe do a fresh background check on the place. No red flags if all they did was change some key staff. And even if we decided to vet the staff individually, they'd have had more than enough time by then to come up with fake identities. That's the advantage of planning this far in advance. <laughs> it was a clever move. When you put it like that, it all makes sense. If we hadn't found this out, someone else would have stolen the truth. So, who's really behind all this? That's a question for the newcomers. But let's start with that worker over there for now. I still think that... Elan's just trying to make excuses so she can get the position. Uh, excuse us, we want to ask you about the newcomers. <sighs> You want them to teach you or something? I gotta say, these newcomers are in tip-top shape. Fast learners, too. They're picking up all the skills unbelievably fast. My only complaint is that they're always going out drinking at night. But they never let us join them. I guess they just need some time to adjust. I'm sure we'll get to know each other over time. <laughs> they go out drinking? This area isn't exactly renowned for the nightlife. I'm guessing it's a long trip to the nearest tavern. You got that right. They tell me they go all the way back to Liwe Harbor to drink at Wan Min Restaurant. It rained after work today, so they actually stuck around at the site for a while. But as soon as the rain stopped, they went out drinking again right away. Hey, you're only young once, right? I say, if they can hack it, let them at it. <laughs> Interesting. Let's go talk somewhere else. Looks like our hunch was on the Mora. These newcomers are very suspicious. Drinking in Liyue Harbor, huh? <laughs> Some cover story. I'll wager they've been going to intelligence updates. Good thing it rained today. It means they'll leave footprints. I doubt they'd give themselves away that easily, but... Let's follow them and try our luck. I thought. They didn't go to Liyue Harbor. They went that way. What are you talking about? <laughs> if 
the footprints stop here. But, judging from the direction... They're making explosives, okay. Too tall. Oh wait, I told you you're too tall as well. Huh? Where's our last clue? Maybe on the roof? Like we were too late. This has got to be where the newcomers rendezvous. Look at these ashes. Someone was burning documents not long before we arrived. Could there be anything left? Maybe the wind could. The odds of that are. Why don't we wait for them back? We can't count on that. To me, that says that whoever's behind this has moved them somewhere else to throw our invest. Darn! Make no mistake. I smelled something peculiar. Those newcomers probably thought they'd be safe as long. Really? There is a certain place with a f some wealthy people there put floral fragrance when that fragrant ink is burned. This is the exact odor that it leaves behind. Exactly. But it's all I need. Lady Yelon! Oh, thank goodness I finally found you. I thought I'd never see you again. Um, who are you? Don't be alarmed. This is Upei. He's Wen Yuan and Shang Hua's colleague. I sent him to look into Jur E's regular contacts. Since Jur E likes fishing, Wu Pei thought he might know some of the fishermen and sailors, so he took a boat out to sea to ask around. I left him a note at Yen Shang Tea House telling him to look for me at Black Cliff Forge when he got back. So, what did you find out at sea? Uh, forgive my incompetence. I'm afraid I've come up empty handed. I asked all the fishermen multiple times, but none of them had any interactions with Jur E before. Then the waves got so choppy, I ended up falling overboard. Fortunately, someone managed to drag me out. When I got back, I heard that you'd gone to Black Cliff Forge and might need backup. So I went straight there as fast as I could. Didn't even stop to change my clothes. Hmm. Well, Uncle Tian said that Jur E once bought a recipe from one of the fishermen. Did you hear anything about that at all? What? That's news to me. No, that's not possible. It's absolutely not possible. Lady Yelan, I'm telling you. I spoke to every single fisherman out there, and none of them mentioned anything about a recipe. Interesting. Then I wonder how that even more wonderful fish soup came about. Fish soup? What fish soup? Nothing. Our priority right now is to find a way to get our hands on some salt. So well, any suggestions? Hmm, not a bad idea. Upe, what do you think? Honestly, I've already tried following Jury, but the guy's too cautious. Never meets with anyone suspicious. Okay, so tail- No, we'll still need to tail- Android? When you've worked in intelligence for a long time, you'll understand tomorrow morning I'll announce his victory at York. Be sure to arrive on time. Okay. We will do a little bit more of that. I would say maybe another 10 minutes, and then we'll call this part 4. I'm calling it now. Journey has its final day. Don't All of this was a test from Uncle Tian to make Yilan the next covert ops uh, chasing. Okay. 
Okay, cutscene's about to happen. Mm. I know. It looks like we're all here. Well then, time for me to announce the results of the assessment process. I won't drone on about the importance of the Tianshu role. Suffice to say that Uncle Tian entrusted me with the monumentally important task of assessing the candidates. And now, it falls to me to give him a satisfactory answer. All of us here know the score. Don't beat around the bush, just get on with it. Chen Wei has many pioneering ideas, but some of his plans are lacking in detail, and he easily gets into testy exchanges with other people. Ming Guo is reliable, but not quite ambitious enough, and because of his personality, he struggles to win people over. In contrast, Zhur Yi is evenly balanced across the board, and enjoys an excellent reputation in Liyue. After much consideration, I have decided to recommend Zhur Yi to the Liyue Qixing. Uh, what? Oh, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Honestly, I'm a little surprised to hear my name being announced. In my estimation, all three of us are worthy candidates for the Tianshu position. As your competitor, I've become keenly aware of your great talents. Would either of you entertain the possibility of working with me in the future? And taking on some of my workload? I'll have to see. Uh, I'm in a bad mood. This is the last thing I want to be thinking about right now. I don't mind. As long as I can help. Okay, well, that's all from me. Jur E, you'll have some preparation to do. It won't be long before you're informed of your official appointment. I hope you will work hard and make Uncle Tian proud. I will live up to the Tian Shu name. On this, you have my word. I should go. I need to pack my things, and then I think a celebratory meal is in order. Would anyone like to join me? Count me out. I'm not in the mood for a celebration. Jur Yi seems pretty relaxed now. This would be a good time to follow him. Hey, Traveler, tell me something. What exactly does that guy have that I don't? If you can't answer that, I'm not accepting this result. I, uh, also wouldn't mind knowing. Oh no, if we get stuck here, we won't be able to leave. Follow him. Yes, ma'am. Lady Yelan, jury has gone towards Feiyun Slow. Follow him, quickly. You sending another dude? So Juri really sided with the Fatui? <laughs> but Uncle Tian thinks so highly of him. Why would he do this? Difficult to say, but everything should become a lot clearer when we find him. Sorry, Lady Elon. We lost him. He's too good at this. We weren't able to keep following him without being seen. How the heck did he manage to shake Yelon's subordinates? I guess Jerry didn't let his guard down. Still as vigilant as ever. No, Upe says he's much more relaxed than usual. Maybe it's just how he's wired. Perceptive enough to sense when he's being watched. Don't blame yourselves. Let's not forget he was trained by Uncle Tian himself. Evading detection is not an unusual skill for him to have. If I'd asked you to tail Uncle Tian, you'd have ended up at a dead end too. It's fine. So, where did you lose him? Shinyue Kiosk. He only went in briefly. Upei and I were watching outside the whole time. A few moments later, a man dressed in a completely different outfit came out. Upei had a feeling that it was him, we couldn't get close enough to check without blowing our cover. I figured that if we spooked him, it would undo what we've accomplished today so far. Another option would have been to arrest him there and then. But without any evidence, that would have been meaningless. 
So I stopped Dupei, and I stayed here to wait for you while that meathead went to ask around in Shinue Kiosk. Good work. The fish didn't take the bait, but that's okay. As long as he's still swimming around, we'll find a way to catch him eventually. The key is figuring out what he's trying to achieve. Let's go to Shinue Kiosk. I'm just gonna comment. Elon's curves. I think they really had a good um, character design going there. Or at least market it to a specific audience. Could you explain to me how that works? A guy like him comes in, changes his whole outfit right under your nose, and you don't even ask him about it? Our customers are free to dress however they please. What grounds would I have to question him? <sighs> okay, fair enough, but didn't you think it was just a little bit strange? Well, maybe I did, but it still doesn't give me the right to stop him. Enough. Let's tone this down a little. I'll make this quick. Just one question. What did he buy while he was here? Oh, he didn't buy anything. He just picked up a bottle of liquor that he ordered ages ago. A bottle of liquor? Yes, a very strong kind. Fiery, with a rich flavor. Not something the average customer would order. This gentleman ordered it in person from us a long time ago. He was only here today to pick it up. Liquor? And wineware. I see. Let's go. Shigu Antiques. So next time we see Elon in a cutscene, uh, we can describe her character design. Hey, Miss Min Long. Sorry to bother you. Jur E ordered a wineware set from you not long ago, right? We're friends of his. He's been telling us how impressed he is so, with the quality, considering legs. how affordable it was. Don't so worry, we just had the to story's come and take not a look important. For sure. Which model are you looking for? Um, we don't really know a whole lot about wineware. Let's just go with Jur E's choice. Would you be able to show us the one he bought? Jur E picked up his set not long ago. I was going to comment on the wrist, but um, of an antique wine but, set, it has the look and feel of a luxury item. Just uh, so you're aware, we don't have many of this model. I think it's a comfortable stock. size. And now that Mr. Jur E has taken one, I'm afraid it may encourage the price to go up a little. Don't worry, price shouldn't be an issue. I'm sure we can work something out. But I'm just a little hazy on one thing. Did Jur E's wineware set include wine glasses, or...? For this set, the wine glasses are sold separately. Minimum purchase is one glass, maximum is four. Mr. Jur E bought... two. Okay. Thanks, Lin Long. Seems there's a little more to buying wineware than I first thought. We'll have to mull it over. Well, don't take too long. We could sell out any day now. All right, see you next time. This is turning into a real headache. Uh, I'd just like to point out that we have the self-professed Grand Master of Fieldwork here to thank for being wholly incapable of tailing an ordinary civilian without being seen. It's not like you did any better. My specialty is information trading, okay? I don't have the physical agility. What's your excuse? I... uh... Fair point. Yelon, so has the plan failed? Oh, if we can't figure out where Jerry went, there's not much we can do. But why was he buying liquor at Shinue Kiosk anyway? To celebrate? If so, it's no ordinary celebration. What do you mean? First of all, Jur E isn't much of a drinker. 
On some level, he hates alcohol because of what it did to his father. If he was just looking to celebrate by himself, he wouldn't spend his meager savings on an expensive bottle of alcohol, let alone buy a pair of special wine glasses. Now, this is a victory feast, held in honor of Jury's private sponsor. Whoever this person is clearly enjoys hard liquor and has a very high status, hence the need for expensive-looking wineware. Now, where might we find Fatui who match that description, I wonder? Fatui officials... Hmm, should be either the Snezhnyan Embassy or the Northland Bank. Have both locations surrounded. Take as many people as you need. Lady Yalon, is it time for us to make our move? If so, you can count me in. Get with the program, would you? This is a covert surveillance operation. Jury may be vigilant, but that doesn't mean the same is true for his drinking buddy. In which case, we don't need to change tactics. Just change who we're following. Great idea! So we just need to find out who Juryi bought that liquor for and follow them instead! But Lady Yelan, if we get caught, this could become a major diplomatic incident. I'm well aware, but don't you see? Juryi is gambling everything on this. If we really want to catch him, we're going to have to accept a little risk ourselves. Stick to your orders, and make sure we're covering all other bases too. Anywhere else Juryi might be going. I want eyes on those locations. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, Lady Yelan. Juri may be a slippery character, but we'll keep a close watch on the movements of all Fatui officials. I'll be waiting for you at the tea house. Why are the Fatui involved? They got Fatui the Fatui officials gnosis. are likely to take action at night. You should go and get ready. Then meet me at Yenshang Tea House. Do one more cutscene and then we'll call this part four. Perfect timing. When you and just sent word that the Fatui ambassador, Yusupov, just left the embassy alone. He's heading in the direction of Qingshu Pool. Qingshu Pool? That's the place Jerry. It looks like that's where they've arranged to meet. Sensible choice. I'll give them that. Qingshu Pool is always crawling with monsters. Most people wouldn't dream of going there. It's one place they won't need to worry about being seen. Oh no, we gotta go get them! Let's go. If my hunch is correct, we just might hit the jackpot this time. Okay, we'll call this part 4, I'll see you in part 5.